Hi everybody, it's Dr. B and welcome to Toolkit Tuesday, where I share a tool or a framework out of my latest book, Unflappable. With It's chock full of over 70 tools and frameworks to help you quit overthinking, ditch the drama, and thrive at work and everywhere else. So this week, I wanted to share with you a personal story where I really messed up and how it demonstrates how unflappable can be helpful in understanding it and from the other person's side, how it can help, all the tools in it can help you to be unflappable. So, roll cameras. This happened at a birthday celebration, actually, I was having with a friend of mine earlier this week. Now, she's a therapist, so she has a lot of tools in her toolkit, uses a lot of the ones in my toolkit as well. And so, she was primed for my bad behavior. So, my bad behavior looked like this. We sat down to dinner, and she asked me, what did you do today? Uh, okay, so that's an innocuous question. It's a polite question. It's a conversation starter. What did you do today, Bridget? And I had a negative reaction. Okay, so let's back this up a little bit. I'm going to give you some framework, which is, again, part of understanding how to be unflappable is doing some self-inquiry and also being curious about what other people might have gone through or might be bringing to that moment that's affecting how you are having that conversation. And she knows a lot about my background, so I'm sure when I did this, she was real quick to figure out a little bit of what might have been going on, but I'm going to let you know. So for those of you who are unaware, about five years ago, I was in a motor vehicle accident where I suffered a traumatic brain injury. Part of the effects of that is my energy is lower. I have a number of, of neural deficits that make it harder for me to bring energy to a lot of different things in my life and to keep the pace that I used to keep. So my friends used to jokingly call me the Energizer Bunny because I could go from thing to thing and not skip a beat. I could be as energetic at 11 p.m. as I was at 6 a.m. And I would run from thing to thing, pull in, jump out of the car, do the thing, jump back in. Like I packed so much into the tightest of spaces and I almost never said no to anything because I'd figure out how to get it done and get there. Then enter the truck that hit the vehicle I was riding in and that ended for me. So now each day I have to pace myself. I have to schedule only a number, a certain number of things of certain types of certain experiences in order for me to make sure that I am coherent and helpful in the ways that I want to be helpful. So overbooking my schedule looks very different now, right? There's a lot of white space on my calendar. So when she asked me, what did you do today? my brain went two places right like this. First, it went to my own shame and my own grief about the life that I used to live versus the life that I'm living now. And I felt really badly about myself because that has been sad for me. It's been unfortunate that I can't give as much of myself and experience as much of the world and other people as I used to. The second place that it hit was that competition, right? That feeling less than the person I was speaking to because my friend is working full time, going to school full time, running a household. She is the old Bridget. So I'm answering a question to like not only myself, but to her, and I don't feel good about the answer. So instead of just saying that, right, because I just the question was asked, it went right, it like skipped right on past all of the good things that I know to do, right? And she, it hit my emotional center and I, I said, well, not all that much and certainly, I mean, I know I'm gonna hear all about all the things you did today and I, I swiped at her, I just swiped because I was jealous and sad. And so she didn't take the bait, she did what I teach in Unflappable, which is to let that stuff just rest there, get curious maybe about it, notice that it happened, maybe put a little note in the file of like, I'm gonna wanna learn about what that was, but I'm not gonna react to that. 
And so later I reached out to her and I apologized profusely for just being a jerk, right? And it had nothing to do with her. I mean, it had to do with her in the sense that it was my competition that I had with her and my jealousy about the life that she's living. But it wasn't about something she did. She didn't do anything wrong by asking me, what did you do today? It was a kind and thoughtful question. So why am I telling you this story? Well, to show you that I'm human and that I do these things myself and to show you that being unflappable isn't about getting it right 100% of the time because I certainly didn't. It is about going back and repairing the relationship with honest dialogue, which requires that you get inside yourself and look at those dark and ugly places that might be giving rise to some of those reactions that you have with other people. And what I might have been better suited to do was to pause for a moment when I heard the question and noticed in my body I was getting tense and upset, but I didn't. And that's a lesson for me to pay attention more going forward to slow that response time down, right? The second was to look at the cognitive distortions that I was entertaining that that what she was asking me was like a threat, that I couldn't be vulnerable and just share what was happening and what I did, right? To be open to whatever judgment she might have had about what I did or didn't accomplish that day, okay? So there's lots that I can do and that you can do to really check yourself because a Everything that comes out in Unflappable, yes, has to do with how we interact with other people. But first and foremost, it has to do with how we treat ourselves because how we're treating ourselves is what bubbles up and creates how we interact and think about other people. So with that, I want you to invite you to check out Unflappable. You can find it on my website. I have bonus materials on my website at drbridgetcooper.com. Please, if you pick it up, I'd love you to write a review on Goodreads and Amazon. It's super easy to do both of those things. Reach out to me if you have any questions and have a lovely, lovely, unflappable day. Bye-bye.